Hey guys, so today I have kind of a fun video planned. I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you, but first off, before I get into the actual video, I want to apologize for my voice and the way that I look. I am pretty sick, and I really did not feel like filming, but I am leaving to go to Florida tomorrow. Today is Friday. You guys probably won't see this till Sunday, but I am leaving to go to Florida, so I wanted to film some videos for you guys, so I had some videos to put up while I was there, just because I'm not going to be actively filming when I'm there, and I don't want to leave you guys like for a week with no videos so yeah that is why I am filming I'm sorry if my voice is, like annoying because it's scratchy um but hopefully this video will be really fun and also before I get into the video because I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions about it I wanted to show you guys my necklace I am obsessed that I put a, vi a picture up on my Instagram and so many of you were like oh my god that's so pretty this necklace is from southernbellglitz.com I will put a link in the bottom bar to their website they have awesome jewelry like literally super Super beautiful and amazing jewelry and they're also really inexpensive and I wanted to make sure that I told you guys as soon as possible because I did make a coupon code for my subscribers for you guys especially and basically the coupon code is thank you Kelly 15 and it's gonna give you 15% off of your entire order for the entire month of February so I wanted to make sure that I told you guys as soon as possible so you could check out their website and use the discount code before it expires so yeah I will have the link to their website and the coupon code information all things like that in the bottom bar but without further ado, let's get into the video. So like I said, it's going to be a Q&A. I did put up a picture on my Instagram saying that I was going to be doing a Q&A and a ton of you guys asked a lot of questions on it. Um, I got a ton of questions, so I'm not going to be able to answer all of them, but a lot of the questions were repeated, so I might be able to answer most of your questions and what you guys want to know about me. So, okay, so the first question is from A. Henry, 2010, and she actually asked a question that a ton of you asked. Like, the most asked question that I got was what my major is, what I'm studying in school. So, basically, I am a double major in human resource management and labor studies and employment relations. So, yeah, I'm not going to be here for any longer than I have to to get both majors. I was able to double major in both since a lot of the classes overlap um, and you know get two degrees in the amount that it would only take to get one degree so I decided to major in both so yeah those are my majors and then she also asked how much longer do you have and how do you plan on using your degree so as far as how much longer I have I am in my second semester of my junior year and that just started so I basically have this whole semester and then all of next year so I have about a year and a half left in college and then how do you plan on using your degree? I'm not a thousand percent sure yet exactly what I want to do. As of right now, I am in a five-year program at my school to get my master's in my fifth year. So like in four years, I would graduate with a bachelor's degree and then I'd go one extra year and be able to get my master's in human resource management. I'm not a thousand percent sure if I'm going to end up doing that or not because I have been thinking pretty seriously about going to law school instead and being like an employment law lawyer. I really just don't know what I want to do right now. Um, hopefully, I'll figure it out pretty soon. But yeah. Allison Skinner asked, do you have any pets? If so, what kind and what are their names? No. Currently, I do not have any pets, although my birthday is in April and I have been trying to convince my parents literally since the day that I was born to get me a dog. I'm an only child. I never had any pets and all I've ever wanted is like a little dog. I want a dog so so bad. I want either a Pomeranian or a Yorkie. I really want a Pomeranian. I think they are so adorable, but I have really bad allergies and they're not hypoallergenic and Yorkies are hyperallergenic, so I've kind of been leaning a little bit more towards a Yorkie just for the sole fact that it's hypoallergenic. Um, but yeah, I want either one of those type of dogs. I'm not a thousand percent sure which one yet. And um, I want their name to be Penelope. I already like picked it out, everything. So I really, really, really am hoping that I will get a dog sometime this year. If not, definitely when I graduate, I will be getting a dog. That will be their name. Um, but yeah, currently, no, I do not. But hopefully very, very soon in the future. And of course, when I do get one, I will do a video showing you guys and introducing you. Okay, Chelsea asked me, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Um, a lot of things. Basically, I used to always watch YouTube makeup tutorials. I used to, I remember the first people that I started watching, I first started watching Candy Johnson, and then I watched like Chow Bella and It's Blondie, um, SML XO, I watched her for a really long time, Nicole Guerrero, I've watched those five for like a really, really, really long time, like years, and I used to always watch them, but I never like made my own, and then I was like, you know what, I really should start making my own, like I think it would be really fun, it was just like a fun hobby for me to pick up, and um, yeah, I guess those five would be the people that inspired me to make my channel, and then um, 
just watching like them in general I just was like you know I could do that too so I want to try and do it so McKay yeah. Denise asked me what I was going to school for which I already answered but then she asked me and if you weren't going for that then what would your second career choice be that is kind of hard I would love to have gone to school for fashion or hair or makeup or something in like the beauty industry, but my parents were really um, kind of like set on the fact that they did not want me to go for something like that. They wanted me to go for like to a regular four year school rather than going to like to a cosmetology school which, you know, it is what it is. They said, like, you know, if you go through school and you still want to do it, then, you know, we'll send you to cosmetology school after you graduate with a bachelor's degree and stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess my second choice would have been to go to, like, cosmetology school or something like that, but it's a little late for that now. So, yeah, and I'm happy with where I am and what I'm studying and everything like that. I wouldn't change it. Slayer Girl 18 asked me, what kind of music do you like? I honestly like all types of music. The only type of music that I really don't like is like really hard, like metal, rock. I don't really like that. Um, but I like pop music. I like electronic music, you know, like dance music. I like country music. Well, not all country music, but I do like a lot of country music, like the more popish country. Like I love Blake Shelton, Luke Bryan, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I pretty much like anything, just I don't like like screamo, like that hard metal rock music. I don't like that. Kirsten Mor I hope I'm saying this right. Kirsty N. Morgan Six asked me, where do you see yourself in ten years and what are your favorite baby names for a girl? Okay, well let's see. In ten years, I'm twenty years old now. I'm almost twenty one, but twenty. Um so in ten years I will be thirty. So I hope to be married and have at least one kid by the time I'm 30. I probably want to have two ch kids, I'm not sure yet, but probably two. But I want to have at least one by the time I'm 30 and kind of be set in a career. So that's where I see myself and hopefully living somewhere, either like in New Jersey or Florida or like California. And then as far as my favorite baby names for a girl, I really don't know. Honestly, I don't, I don't know, that's hard. I don't really think about it. I like like different names, I don't know. Because my name, you know, Kelly isn't, like, not that it's common, but, you know, there's always, like, other people named Kelly. Like, I kind of want my daughter to have a different name. Like, I like the name, like, Annabella and, like, I don't know. Like, I like, like, different weird names. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't really know. I don't give too much thought to it, honestly, right now. But I definitely know that I want my child to have, like, a different name. But not, like, something completely weird, but, like, just different, not super common. Amanda Sage asked me, what is your favorite place in the world? Have you traveled out of the country? If so, where? Okay, well, my favorite place in the world would be probably, I don't know, that's really, really hard. I mean, I would say my favorite place in the world is my hometown. Like, to me, there's nothing better, like, than where I came from and everything like that. I'm from New Jersey. I'm obviously not going to tell you guys the exact town that I'm from, but... Um, that would be like my favorite place in the whole world is my hometown. But as far as like my favorite place, I guess to go on vacation, if that's what you're asking, would be every single year my family goes to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for like a family reunion. And it's always so much fun and I love it there. So that would, I guess, be my favorite vacation spot. And as far as if I've ever been out of the country, yes, I have been out of the country twice and both times was to Mexico. So I've never been like somewhere completely like I feel like although Mexico is out of the country it's very like Americanized um you know I've never been to like Europe or anything like that um I would love to go though so hopefully soon Mel Dell 319 said what is your ultimate dream job that is a hard one but I would have to say my ultimate dream job would literally be being a YouTube beauty guru as a full-time job <clears throat> whoa my voice just like um I literally love making videos for you guys. It's so much fun. I love editing them. I love commenting back to you guys. Like, I just love everything about it. So if I could make it a full-time job, that would be awesome. I don't know if I'll ever be actually able to do that, but that would definitely be my dream job. I would love to just do it and not have to do anything else. That would be absolutely amazing. Carbore1423 asked me, what purple shampoo brand do you use? I don't really have a purple shampoo that I use, like, on a daily basis or anything like that. I do have the Dumb Blonde purple shampoo from, what is that brand, um, Bedhead, and I have their purple shampoo, and I do like that one, I use it, I don't know, maybe once every two weeks or so, but I don't really use one on a daily basis, that's really the only one I've ever tried, I should probably look into getting, um, like a better one, because I don't think that one is really all that great, but it's really the only one that I have. 
Emily O-R-R asked me, what would be your dream vacation? Um, like I said before, I would love, 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 love to go to Europe. I really specifically would love to go to Italy, France, and Spain. I think those three countries I would love to be able to visit and go there. Um, maybe on like a Mediterranean cruise or something like that, but I would really love to go to um, those three countries. And she also asked me, would you ever color your hair dark? Um... You know, I don't know, right now, no, I wouldn't. Just because, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in like September, I got low lights and I absolutely hated it. Like, I was like literally, like I didn't even wanna like go out of like my apartment. Like, I hated it. So I think that if I went dark, I'd have to go all over dark because I don't really like dark blonde on me. Because when I got the low lights, that's kind of the color that it made my hair. It made it like a dark blonde color. And I did not like that. So if I went dark, I'd have to go like all over dark. And although my natural hair color is like a darker red, right now I would not go back to it. And I don't plan on going dark anytime soon, but maybe when I'm older. Kelly Gaz XX asked me, how do you fight cravings to keep eating clean? And she also said, love your videos. So thank you. I'm so glad that you love them. Um, but as far as how I fight cravings and keep eating clean, I think one thing that's really important is moderation. You can't always deprive yourself. Like I eat chocolate sometimes and I eat pizza sometimes. And, you know, like it is what it is. It's like I can't always eat clean 100% of the time. And I think that if you do kind of do everything in moderation and do give yourself a little cheat every once in a while, it will really help to not get those cravings. And a lot of times what I do, if I have a craving for something, is I'll eat like a spoonful of peanut butter, which is not even like a good thing, but peanut butter is like better for you than other things, and that to me would satisfy anything in the whole world because I am obsessed with peanut butter, I love peanut butter. And it's like somewhat healthy for you, you know, because there is protein and it's good fats because it's fat from nuts. So yeah, I use peanut butter a lot and yeah. Anna Michelle 7 asked me, what is your gym routine? I'm trying to find the most effective routine to tighten and tone. Problems areas have definitely been my legs and bottom. Okay, well those problem areas are my problem areas as well. So we have the same problem areas. My problem areas are definitely my legs, my butt. And as far as what I do at the gym, to target them I don't you can't spot target places and I think that's a lot of times like I'll get people asking like how do I lose belly fat but it's like you can't like you just lose fat you can't spot target like your belly it's just gonna come from all over so I think that's kind of important although those are your like worst places you can't really target them I do do legs day once a week but I have a full video on my gym routine and kind of what I do I do strength training and cardio five days a week and yeah so I will link that in the bottom bar if you want to check that out. Camelo asked me if you could dye your hair any color besides blonde what color would you choose? That's really really hard just because I really like blonde but I think that if I could dye it any color besides blonde it would either be a very dark red color like a lot darker than my natural like um, like a very very deep dark red or possibly like a light caramel brown yeah Nicole Sarah 294 asked me, where do you see yourself in 10 years, which I already answered for you guys. And then she also asked, and do you recommend any products, conditioners for dyed hair? By the way, love your videos. One, thank you for loving my videos. Um, but one thing that I would recommend definitely for color treated hair is a conditioner. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I talk about it in a lot of my videos. I talked about it specifically in my hair care routine. That's absolutely amazing. It will keep your hair moisturized and help it not be so damaged. So I would definitely, definitely recommend that. It's an awesome product. So yeah, I'll link my hair care routine in the bottom bar for you to check out. But yeah, that product is amazing. Okay, so I feel like this video has already been like 500 years long and I don't want to bore you guys. I will do more Q&As if you guys like this so let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do more Q&As and I definitely will. I hope that I got to most of your comments and questions and answered them. Um, if I didn't I will try and get to it in my next Q&A like I said if you guys want me to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really really appreciate it. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!